Memphis, look. We found cow. the cows. Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Oh my goodness. So, today is adventure day. We don't know where we're going. We don't know what we're doing. The dogs are like, can we peek at the neighbors? You sure can. That's how close the neighbors are. <laughs> we're at one of those campgrounds, which is fine. It's actually a really nice campground. And we're basically just sleeping here and adventuring out from here, so there's nothing wrong with it. But uh, we are going on an adventure, and again, we are not 100% certain where we're going. I think we're gonna go into Lancaster. I think we're gonna try to stay off the highways and take only the back roads. Are you sniffing her eyeball? What are you doing? Why is it so yellow in here? Oh, because I don't have the big lights on. So anyway, we're going to load up and head out. And yes, today is Jamie and I's 21st wedding anniversary. And my pants got all wet from the dew this morning, so I got them hanging here so they'll dry. <laughs> what are you doing to Memphis? Are you, you playing with Memphis? Is she playing with you? What is going on here? What is, what is this life? What on earth happened? Did you get all spunky? Wow. Okay. She's spunky today. Are you spunky today? I'll take it. All right. Let's go on an adventure. Let's go. Wanna go? Wanna go for a ride? Do you wanna go for a ride? Yeah? Do you wanna go for a ride? Do you wanna go for a ride? I knew you were gonna jump on me. All right, let's go. So we got the dogs all loaded up and we headed to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which apparently is one of the oldest inland towns in the United States. There's some old looking row houses right there. So we're, where are we going to a park? Yeah. We're going to a park and then we'll probably drive through this downtown area. Maybe get out and walk, depending, we'll see. Maybe we'll find lunch or something. Mm -hmm. But right now we're gotta try to get over because there is construction. Lancaster, established in 1730, which is uh, before the United States. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, look, it's me from the future. The next portion of this video is the sponsored part of today's video, which was filmed back at home. Guess who the sponsor is today? It's HelloFresh. And as always, if you guys wanna get your own HelloFresh box, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code SNOWDOGSVLOG16 for 16 free meals, plus free shipping. The offer is for new subscriptions only, and it varies by plan across nine boxes. The code again is SNOWDOGSVLOG16 at HelloFresh.com for 16 free meals. Let's see what's in here. As you guys know, we have had a crazy schedule lately and HelloFresh makes it super easy with our crazy schedule to not have to worry about what we're gonna make for dinner. HelloFresh also takes the hassle out of me having to go to the grocery store during this crazy time. It can save us money. It's cheaper than grocery store shopping a lot of the time and it's less expensive than takeout and everything comes nice and portioned for the perfect size meals. If you have never checked out their website, you totally should. There are so many different chef crafted recipes and seasonal recipes. Fall is coming and there are some amazing fall flavors on their new menus. Go check out their website. I'm certain you'll find something you'll like. So as you saw, we got the cheesy chicken enchilada pasta bake, we got the crispy chickpea tabula bowls, and a lemon parmesan shrimp salad. And unlike normal, where we say wait to the end, we're just gonna show you right now what we're gonna make. Ooh, we're going with salad with a slight modification. I'm gonna make my shrimp in the air fryer instead of in a pan. Best kitchen helper ever. Second best kitchen helper ever. Tomatoes all cut. Lettuce washed and rinsed. And ta-da! Salad! And it looks amazing. All right, hon. You're already chewing, I can see. Mm -hmm. Is it good? I get a good bite with everything in it. Mm. Shrimp on a salad is always good. Mm-hmm. Mm, lemony Parmesan shrimp salad. And I really do like the... The dressing? The, yeah. The green vinegar right here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll add this one to the to the favorites list. Mm -hmm. So the food was amazing, and as I said, there will be a link and a coupon code down in the video description below. Thank you once again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the travel vlog. Look it! Jamie found us a covered bridge to go under. The road is closed in 500 feet. <laughs> 500 feet would be after the bridge, right? I hope so. Mm -hmm. Look I think there's a parking cool. lot on the other side, so. And it's covered, like it's, so. And there's a river down see. there. It's a real covered bridge. Oh, there is a window. Okay, that's kind of cool. I know there's lots of these in Pennsylvania, but we don't have lots of these in Michigan. No, we have a few, but. That's, that's pretty, pretty cool. cool. So the covered bridge we just drove over is right over there. But we saw this nice little path, and we thought, eh, we'll let the dogs out, let them stretch their legs. 
go down this path since we've been in the car for a little bit. And this is really pretty. And there's a river over there, so we'll go, we'll hopefully go check that out too. What, was, what do you remember what the name of the state park was? Nope. Okay, me neither. Lancaster State Park. Park. We're in some state park outside of Lancaster. Golf course state park? Yeah, we were by the golf course. We don't know where we are, but this path looked really pretty. So we're just going. I can see the river through the woods. Yeah, I have a feeling it'll cut this. I, yeah, I think it's going to take us over there. Watch. Don't fall on the rocks. Yeah, as long as it's flowing fast, yeah. it looks like it's flowing pretty good. Uh -huh. This looks like it just kind of follows the river. Yeah. What'd you see? Yeah, we were just up there. On yeah. We were driving up there and then we came down here to see the bridge. It looks like this might have been an old bike path at one point yeah. in time. It didn't say no cars, so I'm thinking. Oh, that's true. Here. Probably drive on it, maybe. Well, we're on a cliff on this side. Yeah. So, unless, no. I might go back the other way to get them close yep. to the river. We'll see. <laughs> That's a, that's a pretty big cliff right there. Yeah, that's a pretty steep. I mean, it's only... And that river's not moving that fast. I don't know if I want them in it anyway. Yeah, right here it's not moving. Oh yeah, I see it up here moving. In the rapids, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cute. Yeah, I think at the covered bridge it's rapids too, so... Oh, well maybe we'll go back over there and look yeah. at the bridge from the ground. Yeah. So there's the bridge. So this is Kurt's Mill Covered Bridge. And this is the... However the heck you say that river. I hear you, ma'am. She's like, my dad went that way and I would like to go that way. Ooh. We're under the bridge now. Under the... Oh, you did? Wow, and nobody grabbed it? Look at that. There's a snake skin. What kind of snake do you think it was? Oh, the water reflecting mm -hmm. off the wood is really cool. I walk that way a little bit. I'll get a picture from that side. The river water is pretty. And then there's no oh there's another little bridge we can cross up here. That bridge looks scarier than the covered bridge. Yeah, it looks a little leaner, but it's still there. No thanks, I'll go this way. I'll go back under this bridge. Come on girls. Come on, let's go find some more stuff to go see. Let's go. And Laura's like, okay, I'm going. I'm so ready for everything. So we're back in the car. We didn't let the dogs get in the river, and we're driving to what do they call it? Pennsylvania Dutch country? Mm -hmm. Which I guess is Amish country. We should find some, we should find a store and buy some good food. <laughs> and I keep, can you hear them? Mm -hmm. The cicadas? There's cicadas out there. They're so loud. I know they're so loud. So we're going this way. Memphis, look. We found it. the cows. You don't have to did stop. Did she see them? She can see, oh yes, yeah, she can see them. Look at her. I can't. I'm looking at traffic. Oh. Which she can see not. them. <laughs> she sees she sees the cows way out there, and then she sees these horses. She's more interested in the horses. Okay, you can keep driving. Okay, she right is here. way more interested in the horses than she is the cows. She's like, whoa, look at them. Look at them big horses. And all them cows. He was manually plowing that field. Well, he was horse-drawn plowing the field. Right. We finally found cows! <laughs> We've been looking for cows for Memphis since we got on the road. <laughs> so the area that we're in in Pennsylvania is called Bird in Hand. Look a buggy. Horse just doing its job. And that's where we're at. I guess it's Pennsylvania Dutch country is what they said. But there's a lot of Amish and Mennonite community people here. There's another buggy. Oh man, work hard. Get up the hill, buddy. Uh, so... We found cows, which made me happy. But I guess there's a little store up here we might stop at. There's a lot of stuff here and a lot of people. Okay, so I came into this store here and they have so much stuff. I'm looking for some good pickled stuff. Ooh, look, traffic jam. I don't want jam. I might get some cheese, but I was looking at some of these things. Cookies and stuff. So much jam. Some good, ooh, garlic mustard. Oh, here we go. I think I'm gonna get some of those. Oh, pepper, that looks good too. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out which ones I wanna get and grab a couple of these while I'm here. I don't see pickled garlic, but oh look, pickled beets. Those are the best. <laughs> and all of these, so the name of this place is Miller's. We got all these homemade dressings. 
kinds of fun stuff. Ooh, strawberry rhubarb. So I'm gonna pick a few things to take back to the campground with us. Okay, hon. Yes. I got garlic dill pickle chips because mm. they looked really good. And then look, I found cheese oh, curds. Oh, you find cheese curds, perfect. And I got original, I almost got two different kinds, but since we're so far from the campground, I got original because uh, we gotta share them, apparently. <laughs> we're gonna open these up and try them. Oh my goodness. Would you like a cheese curd? Mm -hmm. One for you, one for you, one for you. What do you think of that? They're pretty good, they were pretty good cheese curds, huh, hon? Mm -hmm. Pretty good stuff. All right, continuing on to who knows where. <laughs> look, Memphis. Cows! I missed them. I didn't yeah. see them. You didn't miss them, or Memphis didn't miss them. She's as excited as could be. She's like, Dad, thanks for letting me see more cows. Even if you didn't see them first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're taking, we're, so we have the top down in the Jeep, which you guys saw. And uh, we're taking all back roads. Like we took all back roads here. We're taking all back roads back to the campground. So we stay off the expressway and the highway, which is kind of cool. And apparently we're following a Jeep yeah. trend. <laughs> I just realized there's a Jeep. Pumpkins! Lots of pumpkins. Huh. So we're still, there's another buggy and a horse. We're still in Dutch country, so we're still going to see some cool stuff as we're driving, but we're just taking the, the scenic route back. Pennsylvania is a very scenic state. Yeah. It is very pretty, very hilly. The Allegheny Mountains, we saw the Allegheny River yesterday. Yeah. There's a lot of historical stuff here too, but we went the opposite direction of some of that stuff. Well, besides Lancaster. <laughs> I love how they have their clothes hanging on those huge lines that they just like roll them and they come on down. That's so cool. Oh, there's a bunch of them cows out there or them horses? Them are cows. Oh, and some horses, some working horses. So we're just driving through the back country. So Jamie wanted to wash the Jeep, but we don't have the top on in the back, so he's being really careful, but the dogs are like, oh my gosh, we want to play with that hose. Dad, please let us play with that hose, please. What's he doing? Is he washing the car? Can, maybe, maybe he'll let us play with that hose now. They want to play with the hose. I know. <laughs> They're like, yeah, it would be so fun. Kira, don't eat the soap, you weirdo. <laughs> Ooh, your Jeep is clean now. Right, it's a little cleaner. It's all shiny. All right, I think we're gonna go find food or go back to the campground. We're not sure. We had zero plan for today, mm -hmm. so we're going with the zero plan. And we made it back to the RV. We're making the dogs a quick lunch. I think Jamie and I are gonna make something to eat real quick. And then we might head into Hershey to figure out all the places we need to go tomorrow for the meet and greet so that we don't come in blind and have no idea where we're going because we've never been here before. It's not ready yet. I still gotta add water to it. It's not ready yet. The water is making in the microwave. I know. She's like, but I'm hungry now. Your food ain't even late yet, honey. It's not even late yet. I know. Well, it's kind of dark out and it's road loud, but we took the dogs for an evening walk and uh, we found the pond from Pinch Family, fin Pinch Family Campground Park. Oh, there was a bat! Did you see the bat? It was a bat, he was huge! So anyway, maybe we'll have to come down here tomorrow in the daylight. I thought it was gonna be light enough when we came down, but it was not. You're bright enough, Memphis. Yeah, it's You light the whole place oh, up for us. Yep. There's another yeah, there's Here's bats another. all over the place. Yeah. Crazy cool. Woo, look how foggy you are! <laughs> Is that your new favorite spot? We had to take everything out from under the table just so Memphis could lay under the table. I don't know why that's your favorite spot today, but we'll take it. We'll take it. What do you think? And we got Kira like squished up in the corner over here. Are you squished? Yeah, you look CP too. All right, you guys, we are going to go ahead and call it a night. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We're going to see you again soon. Good night, audience. Kira's like, I had my face so comfy, and then you had to touch my nose. Ready? Boop.